Hello everyone, and welcome to part 0 of my Fire Emblem Three Houses Golden Deer playthrough. For this Fire Emblem Three Houses playthrough, I've chosen to go with the Golden Deer. This is mostly because I like Claude more than the other lords, but that's not to say I won't be playing as the other houses after finishing the Golden Deer campaign. This will be my first Let's Play playthrough, whatever you want to call them, since I made them when I was younger. We're talking about 9 years here. In this Part 0 video, I will go over each of the characters' base stats and what type of class I want them to be. Starting off with House Leader Claude, with strengths in swords, bows, authority, riding, flying, and a budding talent in axes, we can do almost anything we want with Claude. For the most part, I want to be using Claude as a bow user, who can swap out to the sword whenever he needs. Uh, this is because his base stats definitely work best with, like, with a style like that. And from what I've seen from the trailers and such, where he's riding a wyvern, I think that'd be kind of cool too. I don't know if he can use a bow on the back of the wyverns, but I would definitely want to gear him towards a wyvern bow user, because that's just cool. Up next, we have Lorenz with strengths in spears, reason, and riding. It makes the most sense to me to make Lorenz into a cavalier-type class. I don't have anything special planned for Lorenz in my playthrough, but generally he's probably just going to be a cavalier paladin type unit. Up next, we have one of the characters I'm a little more excited for, uh, Hilda. She is a noble. Uh, she has her strengths in spears, axes, and she's a budding talent in armor. Which, uh, it, just looking at her appearance, you wouldn't expect her to be like a knight class, but that's definitely what I want to make her to be. With Hilda's skill advocate, it would definitely help having her be a more mobile unit. That way, you can have her position near more male allies. That way, they can get their damage increased by three. In my playthrough, you'll probably see Hilda as more of a fighter type class. She might be a knight, but uh, I'm still debating on it. Up next, we have our first commoner in the Golden Deer House, Raphael. Just by looking at his stats, you can obviously tell he's more generally, generally suited to a knight class with a hit points of 30, a strength of 11, and a defense of 7. This guy can take a hit. But maybe not a magic hit, because his resistance is only one. In my playthrough, I might have him use the new type of weapons, the gauntlets, or fist weapons. I definitely want to make sure he's in armor, so either using gauntlets and being like more of a knight class, or using armor as like a great knight. That way he can get use of his strength of axes as well. Next up we have the prodigy Lysithia. She is a noble, with her strengths are in reason, faith, and authority. And she's a budding talent in swords. But that budding talent in swords starts off as a weakness and it grows into a strength. So I'm not too sure if I want to have that like worked on right away. Also, she has a very low strength stat, so using the sword budding talent probably wouldn't be the best idea. But definitely want to use the reason magic and faith magic because she has very high magic uh, with a stat base of 11. Cynthia has one of the higher magic stats in the game, but she has the lowest total stats in the entire game which makes her quite the glass cannon, but that's okay. I'm generally kind of curious of what kind of personality she has. I wonder if she's like this stuck-up brat, stuck-up prodigy, but uh, it could, she could be like this very humble person, but who knows? I'm very curious to find out more about her through these sports. After the Scythia, we have Ignatz. He is a commoner with strengths in swords, bow, and authority, and a budding talent in reason. At first glance, I would definitely want to make Ignatz a bow user, as maybe like an archer or a sniper. Uh, something along those lines I think would work very well for him. However, after learning that his personal skill gives him a hit rate of plus 20, maybe putting him in something other than bows, since bow classes generally have skills that give increased hit rate, might be better. But generally speaking, I'm probably going to keep him on a bow class, or at least for the start. Up next, we have Marianne, who is a level 1 noble with strengths in swords, faith, riding, and flying, and a budding talent in spears. Uh, she also has a very high magic stat. Most likely, Marianne will be the priest of my party. Uh, this is because I need a priest, and not anyone else really fits in. Maybe Lysithia might, but uh, I think Marianne's going to fill that spot just fine. Uh, she, If she can, I want to make her a troubadour, uh, because I know she has a love for animals. And last but not least, of the Golden Deer, we have Leone, uh, with strengths in spears, bows, and armor. I'm not quite sure what I want to do with Leone yet. I see that her strengths are in spears and bow. But I kind of have enough bow users I feel with Claude and Ignatz, and I'm probably going to be using a bow myself to recruit a certain character, which I will not reveal right now. But I definitely want her using spears, because I only have one other spear user in the group, which is Lorenz. I feel like having her being a mercenary class would more fit her thematic, so that might be what happens with Leone in my game. Alright, and after we covered Leone, now we have covered everyone in Golden Deer, and now it's time to move on to the Professor of the Golden Deer, which happens to be... You! Well, me! All right, with that said, let's move on to Byleth. He is the character, or the main character that you play as, and, well, I'll be playing as this time. With strengths in sword, spear, fist, bow, authority, and a budding talent in faith, you can kind of do whatever you want with Byleth. Uh, this makes a lot of sense since it's your character, it's the main character that you play as, so it makes sense that you can kind of do whatever you want with him. 
Uh, generally speaking, I probably will make him more like a Swordmaster, but I'm definitely going to be dabbling in a little bit of every skill because there's certain characters I want to recruit from each house, and the only way to do that is to get proficient in multiple weapons. So expect me to use a bunch of different things when I'm playing Byleth for a hit as who I might recruit first. Uh, I'll be using bows probably at the start more than anything else, so just keep that in mind. And this will conclude part zero of my Fire Emblem Three Houses Golden Deer Let's Play. I hope you enjoyed the video, and just so you know, I will be getting a new microphone and a capture card coming in tomorrow, so I'll be able to record gameplay for the game itself, which uh, is quite necessary for your Let's Play, I think. And hopefully with the new microphone, I sound a little bit better. But uh, for this project, I generally want to get better at speaking in general. Uh, I'm used to mumbling over words, so hopefully when we do this Let's Play with live commentary, I learn how to speak. Alright, once again, thank you for watching the video. And just a reminder, the first episode should be coming out on Saturday the 27th. And then after the first episode, we'll have the second episode the next day, and then we'll try to keep these daily uploads up as long as I can handle it. So once again, thanks for watching. This has been Sockseye. See you then.